it as she joins us now. Ooh. Well, I see it very clearly. How about that? And I was just saying to Peter, at 90 years young, this is your world premiere uh, doing your first interview. It's about time. Yes. <laughs> I love that. So tell me, because you have, you said you picked up a camera right after college and have taken photos your whole life. I, I, I have. And I had a, actually my two careers in a way, uh, it was mainly engineering throughout my my productive life, so to speak, yeah. and um, I um, uh, was concentrating mostly on the field of energy, and I'm still extremely interested in it, but it, photography took a hold and built and, and built, uh, and um, through the years I went through all the cameras, starting with an Argus C3, and now the latest 60 megapixel um, uh, Sony, uh, you know, uh, SLR kind of thing, and um, and now, most recently, I have uh, really explored the possibilities of a cell phone photography because it provides to me the immediacy that uh, that we have because many times you see a very uh, 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 beautiful uh, opportunity and it, it just simply... Uh, is not available to you because your 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 camera is miles away. So, yeah. but now we can pull out the cell phone and and capture it. You know, or attempt to. Yeah. yeah, and and so you've traveled all over the world. Yeah. But you said some of your favorite photos are that you've taken are well, pictures of individuals. Yes, well, I mean, portraiture is is my, my my real love, and it. But it's a very personal thing. It's not so much for public display. Yeah. I have a few examples here on this show, uh, and um, they they just kind of give an indication of what type of, of portraiture I, I like to do, but it's 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 uh, it's uh, de-emphasized in a way on this show because it's a has a very broad application uh, of, of subject matter, from Americana to nature, to scenics, um, to automobiles, and mm -hmm. and. Uh, all, all, all these these things are, are shown here. So, I purposely made this show um, a wide wide spectrum, so to speak, yeah. uh, kind of a presentation. And I'm I'm very happy to have had this opportunity that was given to from Barbara here at, Bar at the Be Free Studio. That's what I was going to say. At 90 years young, what does it mean to you to have your artwork up on display? It, it's a rush. It's a, it's it's a real real uh, gratification, you know. So it, uh, it I'm happy to be able to show uh, some of the the wide spectrum of work that I've that I've been interested in. So it's a little bit of an introspection into what I am to also. And what is your so you've been doing this a few years? Yes. As you know, we all have the cell phones. What what tips do you give somebody like myself when I'm taking a photograph? Well, it, it's first of all you have to be alert to the opportunities, you know, and uh, and that's to some extent just built into you, uh, and um, it, it comes to a lesser or greater degree with varying people. But you have to be be, be seeking uh, this sort of thing, even unconsciously, and and then from there, then you have to once you seek, then you have to see it. Yeah. And so once you see it, um, you, you, uh, you then, you then uh, work the scene. That's the next thing is to work it in many different ways and, uh, and, and do some cap capture or captures. And then fr from there, uh, you, you take it home and, and then, then you refine it. You, you distill it. And, and then the final aspect of the whole thing is to print it. And I do my own printing. So, uh, uh, so that's the whole journey of, of creating a photograph. Really incredible, beautiful pieces. You can come. They are open uh, daily except for Tuesday, uh, 11 to 5 here, and, and really beautiful pieces. Um, Peter, so great to chat with you. And guys, we'll send things back over to you. Some really unique, beautiful pieces that you can come check out. Wow. What he was the first piece he ever put together? Ooh, what was the first piece you ever put together? Do you remember the first one that she took with that camera that when you got it? 
uh, it was my first one. It was probably in the oil fields of Texas. <laughs> yeah, I spent one whole summer as a roustabout in, in my youth. I mean, in college, actually. Okay. And uh, it, it went from there. And then nature photography became my first real big, big thing because I'm a lover of wilderness. Yeah, uh, and you've got some really great examples all throughout here. Wow. I, I can't believe he's 90. Yeah, I, mean, I want to know what his geez, secret is. Yeah, jeez. Whatever, <laughs> yeah. whatever water he's drinking. Do you have drinking. a quick secret on how you make it to 90? Uh, good wine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes. That's my guy right there. Grape juice is good I can sign up for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I, I can do that. He gave me a tip. I can, I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm That's an easy for one. that. Don't have to twist your arm. All right, Allie. Allie, thank you. Up? Casey, you and I are good then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're set for life. <laughs> Tell him thank you. Yeah, don't think you're... <laughs> Perfect. That was a motivation Thanks, I needed. <laughs> All right, it's a bit... Allie Wagner is standing by with the artist's who is an inspiration on a variety of fronts, Allie. Mm -hmm. Yes, a 90-year-old Peter Fay joining us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is so fun and so unique. So you picked up a camera, we'll say, uh, when you were 20? Yeah, roughly 20, immediately out of college. Uh, I was able to afford a, a camera and was actually given a Leica by an uncle of mine as a graduation present. And... Uh, and then started to get involved and start to look for opportunities. And so that's been an, an ongoing thing th throughout my life, uh, just always kind of on the, on the lookout and on the search for something unusual and compelling. Mm -hmm. So that's my style of photography, uh, you know, as, as I went along. And then, uh, then I got into gradually into more uh, different kind of cameras, medium format, on and on, and, and then finally in the two, early 2000s, uh, I migrated into digital photography, which, which originally was p pretty crude and stuff, but today very sophisticated and yeah. many more megapixels and so forth and so on. And then the most latest transition has actually been uh, into a uh, cell phone, my iPhone, uh, that gives me opportunities and gives me immediacy of, um, of when I see something that I have the camera with me, which was always uh, uh, an issue <laughs> when, uh, with, with the cameras that I had previously because they were 30 miles away when right. the, something was really happening, you know? Now, this is really cool because you take scenic photos, you take portraits. I mean, you've, you worked in so many different mediums. My interests are wide, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, it's nature photography was my first compelling thing, which came from wilderness experiences. And then scenics uh, along the way, and then my real love is portraiture. There's a few examples here of, of my portraiture, more personal kind of endeavor. And, uh, and then Americana is, uh, is a thing that I just really love to capture because it's, it's many of those things are disappearing, you know, yeah. and uh, so they need to be captured and, and uh, preserved. Well, and you said to me, there's a, how many billion photos taken every day? Uh, if my um, uh, memory serves me correctly here, that, uh, in this world, we uh, apparently one and a half billion pictures are taken with cell phones daily. I mean, it's, it's, it's mind boggling. Yeah. And so I have a lot of competitors. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many, how many photographs do you think that you've taken and printed throughout your life? Well, I mean, I looked recently at my Lightroom catalog, what I have, it's 110,000 is a figure or, or beyond. So, but I mean, you know, so it, the, what you see here is a tremendous distillation process sure. to, to, to show um, some things that you feel are, are really worthy of, of printing and editing and, and refining and, and, and then finally having the opportunity to, to show it to the general public. And, and what's your advice to people at 90 years young? What, what, do, you, what do you tell them as you reflect and, and, and you, you look through the lens? Well, I think you, you have to be, be uh, you have to have a, you have to be conducive to the opportunities of photography. So you have to be sort of tuned into it and saying, I'm, I'm to an extent, I'm seeking uh, something in imagery that, that people will like. And then once you see it, then you have to work it. You have to refine it uh, on, uh, and edit it and maybe take many shots and maybe one of them will emerge as the shot. And then finally, uh, there's an editing process 
that we do in, in Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever, and uh, and bring out the the final aspects of it. And and then, of course, as Ansel Adams used to say, the 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 final performance is the print. Yeah. So that's where it, it comes out, and that's where people can react. I think it's a good metaphor for life, right? Yes, absolutely. No question about it. I never thought of it just like that. But that's that's exactly what you have to do. Yeah. No question, yeah. Oh, that is so beautiful. People can come. Uh, they are open here for you to come check out Peter's work 11 to 5 daily. They're closed on Tuesdays, but you got opportunities to come and check this out. And really beautiful display. I, I'm like, oh, this one of the Grand Canyon over here. There's so many good images and really neat to talk to you, Peter, and, and get to introduce our viewers to you. Back over to you guys. One over. It's very cool. Look at that. Wow. Just beautiful. Breathtaking. I can't think of another word. It takes a certain word. skill yes. that I don't have. I mean, he's mastered that skill. Yes. Open your eyes to the opportunity, Casey. Okay. Yes, Casey. <laughs> because you said so, Allie. Thank you. <laughs>